Oh my goodness, plenty of time for a nap. See if this is fitness today. Oh my goodness, my coat! How can I forget? First gear, slowly ease your foot off the clutch. Flavor? Now that's a very hard question and I just couldn't be pushed to give you that answer. All of you really. What was the biggest struggle of being vice captain of the ones? Well probably being self-appointed vice captains. We did have the two on few roles throughout the year unfortunately. Yeah I believe the biggest struggle was not actually being appointed vice captains. Yeah. <laughs> My highlight of the season was beating Rainey and winning the McDowell Cup. Molly, who would you say is your biggest fan? Oh, Susan, 100%. My mum. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. What is your favourite moment of hockey at Ballycar High School? Uh, getting to the final for two years at the Gibson Cup. What has been your worst moment with the hockey leavers? Hmm. Taking Katie Stewart to Italy for her ski trip after the cup semi-final against Rainey that we won. Um, had to spend the guts of probably 12 to 15 hours with Katie Stewart, taking her to Italy, went up the top of the mountain, had lunch, went back down the mountain, got in the car and drove home by myself and then got on a flight, got to Dublin, had to drive up the road, 24 hour round trip, all for Katie Stewart. And that was your worst moment. <laughs> what has been your highlight of hockey at Ballycore High School? <laughs> Winning the McDowell Cup. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone noticed because you know it's a bit quiet and we didn't really post it on social media or anything. But um, we won the McDowell Cup. <laughs> How did you and the girls celebrate winning the McDowell Cup? And um, we did a wee bit of travelling with the cup actually. <laughs> senior teams. Well I got to watch everybody this year. I was devastated for the thirds. I took them to their last game and um, I got to watch the two bees twice and I was so devastated for them that they didn't lift that cup because they deserved two. I got to watch the first bits and pieces but of course you know I'm going to say the seconds and that cup winning performance. They were awesome and of course it is my cup. <laughs> so uh, what did you guys get your red blazers for? What was your lowest point in your Ballyfer High School hockey career? Uh, the bus journey home from Emma and we lost the under 14 cup 1-0. Uh, I'm going to really miss
miss the seniors, you know. You're all a bunch of weirdos, but that's what I loved about you. And you always brought the team together and you always cared so much for each other. And that's what I absolutely loved. And that's what made it a pleasure to coach you guys. Reporting live from Ballyford High School. Here we have Zoe Wilson. It's been a very successful year for you playing hockey. Do you want to tell us a bit about that, Zoe? Yes, absolutely. I've got the Tokyo 2020 Olympics coming up. It's absolutely amazing. All the girls um, are absolutely buzzing. Sorry, just didn't drop you there. We were actually talking about winning the McDowell Cup with the second 11. Oh, yeah. What's your most embarrassing moment? Um, in third year when I went to hit the ball and I just let go of my hockey stick and it flew across the pitch. Uh, yeah. Mr. Corey. What has been your highlight of the season? Mm, I don't know if there really is a highlight. We didn't really win anything. It's... Sorry, what was that? Oh, sorry. McDowell Cup. We won the McDowell Cup. That's probably my highlight. <laughs> What's your biggest struggle of being captain of the threes? Never actually being booted captain, but I always ended up doing the work. It's okay, I'm only, It's okay. Who's been the best third captain you've ever had? Oh, that's a tricky one. Um, Katie, you're obviously in front of me now. <laughs> so it would have to be you. <laughs> Just don't tell Suzanne. Okay. Suzanne. Yeah. What's your worst moment of hockey at Biker High? Um, probably whenever Zoe was making us do fitness and Mr. Corey said that Rachel Hill didn't make the line, so we had to do more fitness. Yeah, I thought it was Rachel Black. No, it was Rachel Steele. I'm pretty sure it was Nell. <laughs> What was your low light of hockey at Ballyfer High School? Um, probably Mr. Butler telling me I was moving down to the base for the week in second year. So who's the biggest slacker in the thirds? Hi. Who did you have to show out the most? Yeah, this was an interesting one. So when I got this question, I didn't really know how to answer it because actually you're all goody two shoes. I said the most thing I had to shout at you about was, you're playing really well, you're doing really well and give you some confidence. That's probably the thing I remember from this group the most. So what team are you guys on again? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> what is your funniest moment with the hockey leavers? Uh, Molly's reaction to playing centre back for the first half of the season. Yeah, I was like, are you, are you, are you joking, Mr. Roy, or what? <laughs> what was your worst moment of captaining the thirds? Um, probably whenever Miss McCulloch shouted at me as to why no one was going to Tuesday mornings. And all I wanted to do was buy my panini from Joanna. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for such a memorable year and um, you guys worked so hard throughout the whole year no matter what was put down in front of you you just got on with it and I couldn't have picked a more deserving team to win the McDowell Cup. Did I mention that we won the McDowell Cup? Are there any slackers in your team? Us. <laughs> highlight of hockey at Ballyfair High School? Um, getting through the semi-final this year was probably the highlight of my hockey career although not going to get to play it. Oh. Nice <laughs> What's your opinion on the boys hockey team? Totally different than the girls. Loud, brash, in your face, never listen until it comes to playing a match and then they're absolutely awesome. And I have thoroughly enjoyed being with them today and again devastated for them that they don't get to finish what they started and get into the semi-final and play that against Lurgan. Definitely increase the time. Oh, Harry, there you are! Whoa! Oh, don't expect to see you in here. All right, girls, we've got to make this quick. Playground duties call. That's all right, Gary. Just got one question for you. Okay, so who is the biggest slacker at Tuesday morning gym? Well, as we all know, gym starts 8 a.m. Stretch. 10 past 8, we start the actual circuits, but Molly Dugan 
Definitely the biggest slacker usually arrives about half eight. Unexpected result here, folks. <laughs> what advice would you give to upper sixth leavers? Well, there's lots that I could give that would be funny. But the kind of thing I always say to year 14 is one of my favourite quotes from American writer and poet Maya Angelou, which is, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. My advice to Leavers is to keep playing hockey no matter where you go, because it's a great way to make forced friends. And don't forget to come back and coach. I'm sure Mrs McCulloch has already got you signed up. It's been an absolute pleasure being involved with girls and boys hockey in this school in the last seven years. It's my passion. I hope at some stage we've made it be your passion and you need to keep playing. Bye. Hi folks, just a quick message to say all the best for the future. If you get into the university that uh, you wanted to, uh, I hope you continue to play hockey at the university because that's where you'll probably meet some of your best friends. I also hope you find somebody to tell you the, the crappy dad jokes that I tell. Uh, obviously they're not as funny as mine, but you always need someone telling dad jokes. Um, and just one last thing, remember, blue is the colour. And red. <laughs> You gotta help me I'm losing my mind You're getting the feeling You wanna leave this all behind I thought we were going strong I thought we were holding on Aren't we? No, they don't teach ya This in school No more breaking And I don't know what you do Thought we were going strong Thought we were holding on Aren't we? You and me Got a whole lot of history Oh, We could be the greatest team that the world has ever seen You and me got a whole lot of history Oh, So don't let it go We can make some more We can live forever All of the rumors All of the fights But we always find a way to make What's up my teeth? <laughs> I just want to put a wee public service announcement. Apologies to anyone that had to witness me absolutely guard my lamps out after multiple hockey matches. <laughs> you need to say something, Emily. <laughs> me? No, just me. Um, <laughs> 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 Probably the under 14 bus home from the first cup. <laughs> Probably the bus journey home after the. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> uh, the bus journey home from Uma and we lost the under 14 cup 1 0. Now we're memorable. What is the question? Woo! <laughs> Get the, get the feet. Right girls, only 20 more seconds left. Keep going, keep pushing, you can do it, keep going. Only 20 seconds left. Rebecca Walker, I see you slagging over there. Keep going, keep going. Are they right?